You want to say anything? Nope, I don't want to say nothing. I said enough already. I don't have anything else to say. Just kidding, you know me. <laughs> what are you kidding? I don't want to say anything. This is uh, white and brown clay. Actually, it's, uh, it's the 266, which is uh, not a high water clay. It's a standard ceramics, uh, dark chocolate brown. And uh, I'm having a little bit of fun with it. This is uh, one of those where when it's done, we trim it. We trim the uh, outside layer, which right now, as you see, is predominantly brown. And uh, it's not going to be like that when it's done. Uh, I have done a couple other uh, pieces that are, well, right if you here. look to your, uh, what is that, right or left? Jeez, I don't even know. Yeah. There's a couple uh, there. You're throwing one on every wheel, right? Every wheel. Every freaking wheel. <laughs> Wouldn't you like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, we'll be back when he goes to the trimming. Oh, did you get my, my pearly whites? It's pearly whites. Okay, then yep. right. See ya. Bye. Love you. Hi, gang. Here we are again. Uh, today, uh, yesterday, I threw this uh, vase here, this bottleneck vase, and this is two-pot clay. Uh, we got a brown and a white. Uh, and you're saying to yourselves, where the hell is the white? I mean, there's no white there. I can't see too much white here, all right? Well, this is the whole deal behind uh, combining two clays, two clay bodies. Uh, here's uh, what this is eventually going to look like. How cool is that, right? Uh, yesterday, I trimmed this one after throwing it. And you can see all the, uh, uh, what do you call this anyways? Yeah, the spiral and uh, pretty cool, huh? Look at that. Uh, anyways, let's get going. Enough of the talking. As you all know, I talk too freaking much, so uh, I'm going to take uh, I've got a variety of trim tools, uh, which I'll show here, right here. All right, we're probably not going to get through the whole piece because it all depends on how firm and how dry it is. Uh, so get ready because this is kind of cool. What we're doing is taking off that brown. layer and look what's underneath holy crap -ola. holy crap -ola. every one every one of these that i do come out a little different comes out different this is where it gets really interesting right up and through here check that out already huh Ooh, baby hey here we go here we go here we go Still a little on the moist side, uh, so you have to. Uh, if it gets, if it's too moist, and you do this, the clay uh, design smears. Instead of getting a nice even cut, oh baby, <laughs> look at that, huh? Is that bizarre? See, wow. Shit. Can you tell I'm excited? Boy, if I'm excited, oh my god. I wonder what you guys are doing. Now, you don't want to be uh, doing this too, too, too much. Trimming too much. Basically, uh, what you'll end up doing is cutting out too much of your design. But nevertheless, you're still, oh yeah, that's nice. See, that's nice and smooth right there, baby. Okay, now when we come, I'm gonna come up to this top. Now, uh, Suzanne, it, yeah, see if you can show this top here, all right? Now watch how cool this is. 
if it works, if it happens, Careful up here now, Jackie. Hey, what am I gonna do there now? How am I gonna get that out of there? Jeez. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, you know what I don't have here? Oh my God! Can you pause that for yep. a second and let me go get my? Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so I've got my pin tool here, and um, pretty much what I want to do is all I want to do is take this out of there, so that you guys can see that. Uh, spiral in there look how cool that is huh that is gosh darn cool all right ah oh, man i tell you what oh, we can use that pin tool too to take off a little bit more of that brown clay in there well we got to be careful you know we got to be careful that we don't carve right through the piece you know wow that's pretty gosh darn cool all right here we go gosh darn where the hell did that come from gosh Done. Right. I'm gonna do just a little bit more trimming here in this section here, and then we're gonna bring it down. Here we go again. Check it out. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice. 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 All right, it's a little bit on the moist side, uh, right towards this bottom section here, which you would think it would be anyways, right? If it's gonna be moist. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna curtail this operation at this point. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the piece off. Uh, the next thing you're gonna see is uh, the piece upside down in a chuck, all right? In a chuck, those of you that don't know what a chuck is, it's any kind of, uh, a uh, container that will hold this piece because you can't trim obviously you can't put that on the back and trim the bottom all right so i'm going to get a container that this is going to fit into and we'll trim the bottom section of it a little bit uh, better for you okay so we'll do that suzanne's going to pause the camera uh, i'm going to go to the bathroom and i'll be back uh, i'm going to fix my hair again and everything and uh, make sure that i look cute as a button bye We're back. Can you believe it? And here I am with my coffee cup. Uh, you know, I like my coffee. Uh, so anyways, uh, what I've done in the meanwhile, uh, while you weren't here, all right, what I've done is uh, I've done the setup here. The setup is uh, done because of the long neck that's on uh, the piece. And again, I told you before I left it, I was going to have to find some kind of utensil or some kind of container to hold the piece so that the neck doesn't break off, right? So I got this uh, large uh, PVC pipe, which is really cool uh, for a lot of uh, different uh, functions, uh, especially uh, this this one here. Uh, we also use it in hand building too. But anyways, here it is. Now you're looking at it and you're going, what the hell is that thing there? What is this thing, blue thing here? What is that? Okay, I'll tell you what that is. Are you getting me in here at all? Forget the freaking cap. You know what I mean? <laughs> this cap will be, all right, there we go. This cap comes from uh, ClayKing.com. We sell them here for nine ninety five. Or you can go to Walmart for $2.63 and get some Mr. Clean and take the cap off because that's the same thing. Okay, just kidding, of course. <laughs> anyway, let me just have a cup of coffee and uh, we're going to get going here real quick. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. All right, here we go. What we're doing is the cap there is for uh, vertical pressure to hold this because I'm going to be coming horizontally in and trimming this up, all right? And I've got a variety of uh, trim tools that I use. Uh, uh, one of these here, this, this here is... Uh, our uh, traditional uh, tool, a KSP4, which has got a nice big loop and uh, a wide uh, straight edge on it. Uh, th this one here is a, it's an awesome tool. Uh, let's see, this this comes from, where the hell is this? Oh yeah, Mud Tools. And uh, it's a really, really, really cool tool. So anyways, enough of the bull crap, let's go.
All right, what am I going to do first? I have no friggin' clue. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're going to take the mud tool. And you notice I have already done a little bit of trimming when it was right side up. And again, you have to be very careful that you don't take too much of that clay off of there. On the sides. And you gotta remember to really apply pressure on that cap. It's not easy. It is not easy. It's really nothing easy uh, in trimming, but it's uh, I love trimming only because it is uh, the last uh, thing before you bisque fire a piece, right? Before you bisque fire. Okay. Now we're getting there. What I'm doing is I'm bringing that, you know, you're going to look at the overall form of the vase, right? We know that the neck is in there, right? But you're going to look at the overall form, especially in this section here. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab another tool. Let's see. I'm going to just bring this in a little bit more. Your pottery tools are, you know, the just like a mechanic has his tools, you know, screwdrivers and wrenches and all that crap, you know. You get your uh, choice of tools, so sometimes something will work and uh, you'll try something else. It works a little bit better. Let's take a look at what we got. Pretty nice. Got a little bit of, a little bit of a smear going on there, not quite as sharp, but sometimes I kind of like that look, you know. Uh, and it looks uh, it looks pretty cool, you know. It's a little uh, it's a little bit on the foggy side, which is kind of cool. So, all right, now what we're gonna do is we're um, I got to stand up, okay? Because again, remember in one of the other videos I explained that you know I used to be six foot one when I was a teenager, and uh, you know over the years I've shrunk, so I can't uh, really just sit here. Uh, like I said, I'm about five five now. I can't just sit here, so I have to stand, all right? Now, if I was taller, I wouldn't have to because I would, but anyways, who, who cares about that, right? Okay, what I'm doing now is what? Everybody should be knowing this that's doing pottering. Creating the foot. I'll tell you what. <laughs> These uh, spiral lines... Give me a friggin' headache. Uh, as you watch it here, it's uh, you know, going in all all different directions. Well, we're seeing that tool. See that? This is the KSP4. Anybody that doesn't have one, made by Kemper. Uh, we do sell them uh, here at the studio. It's it's the best go-to trim tool that I have. Been using it for years. Not this particular one, of course. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. Are you getting dizzy? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Jesus. It's starting to look pretty cool now. All right, let me just look at it now. Yeah, okay. So what I'm doing basically is cleaning up this outside edge. It takes a little bit of time, you know. Uh, obviously, uh, saying, you know, come on, moving along, Jack. Let's go. Uh, actually, I'm saying that too, but uh, let's get this edge. Ooh, baby. Nice. Okay. It's the little things that get me, you know. Just the little things. I got another tool here I'm going to use. Alright, I'm going to put this one down because you can never have two tools in your hand at once, you know. I tried that once and one ended up in my nose, so I have to forget that, so. Did you laugh at that? You, I heard a little snicker. Yeah. I can't believe you, you did. 
The hell is that thing? What what is that? How did that get there? Uh, right, get off of there. Hitchhiker. Right. A hitchhiker. <laughs> it's pretty good, you know. It's pretty good. <laughs> Remember, you can be funny, but not too funny. Oh, sorry. All right, you can't no. be you can't be no. you know. You can be as funny as me, but don't be funny. Okay. Suzanne does a great job of videotaping. She, I was telling uh, my wife last night that she does such a great job because she's a great partner and she knows the system, you know, she knows what's going on. So she's getting this, uh, she's filming where it should be filmed. I cut my nails last night. Uh, trimmed them up a little bit so that, uh, you know, in case we were going to get the close-ups that you're getting, uh, you know, that uh, nobody would go and be saying, oh, God, look at the long nails, they're all dirty. Of course, they're never dirty. Of course, sometimes they are because of the clay, but other than that. Okay, starting to look cool, huh? I'm going to stop this for a second and just show you what I've done. And I tell you right now, other potters, you know, and you know, other potters are other potters. Other potters are, do other things, you know. Uh, for me, finish is key. All right, it's key. Uh, somebody else, another potter, would have been done, uh, you know, ten minutes ago, you know, and zip, zam, bam. Oh yeah, well that's uh, that's good enough. Well, guess what? Good enough is not in my vocabulary. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Can, are I you got looking it. at me? Yep. Okay, it's not my vocab. All right, it's got to be really good, not good enough. All right. So, anyway, that's the kind of potter I am. That's what I try to teach, too. Uh, that's what I try to teach. By the way, how's my hair? It's, I'm not having a great hair day, i got to tell you the truth. You know, I, I don't know. I woke up this morning, took a shower, and then I'm here, I started, you know, doing, I just thought, oh, jeez, what's going on here? Anyways, okay, is it all right? It's okay, though. Looks all right, great. All right, good. All right, good. All right. Uh, again, you know, a little humor here, a little humor, you guys. Don't don't think this is for real. Those those people out there that say, "What the hell is this guy talking about?" If you know me, you understand that I'm joking a lot of the time. Not all the time, but a lot of the time, I'm a jokester. So, okay, here we go. Now again, I gotta stand up. All right, all right. Now, what I gotta do is again, I gotta do this bracing. All right, all right, and. This is very touchy right here, I'm going to tell you right now. Besides these spiral lines driving me berserk, look, show my head, show my head. My head is going like this. I'm going around, I'm looking down on this. Go ahead, show, show the downwards. Come, 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 come to me more. That's it. Show them what I'm seeing, All right? Uh, that's what I'm seeing. And I, I, if we got any Tylenol or anything, something, something, ibuprofen, something that I can, you know, take. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to pass out here. All right, here we go. What I like to do is... Cut the outside edge. It's, it's really the inside edge, but it's the outside of the actual foot here. See it here? Okay, I like to establish that line first, no matter what kind of a piece I'm doing. All right, I like to establish that outside. Now that tells me. What the hell does that tell me? That tells me that I am going now, right here. I know exactly where I'm stopping, right? So, now I've changed my tool. I was using the straight edge here, all right, this one here. And this is another Kemper tool. It's a very standard, uh, great tool. And we're starting very carefully here. We've got no other brace now. We've got no vertical brace. This piece is just sitting in the chuck here, in the uh, container that it's holding. So. I gotta be real, 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 real careful here. Because if I catch an edge, I'm gonna throw it off center, and that's gonna be a real friggin' bummer because I don't wanna have to go back and recenter this piece. Whew. I'm gonna have to lay down after this, Christ. This thing's. All right, I'm changing tools. I'm going to the KSP4 again, my go to tool, because now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out and even out the interior of that foot. Oh, yeah. We're looking good now.
Yeah, let's see, we're going to come on that side the angle of that, the inside of that foot. Kind of tough to see, you know, because of the uh, coloration of the clay. All right, now, now the best tool of all. What's the best tool of all, Suzanne? Your finger. My finger. And your finger. Everybody's fingers. Right? Fingers are the best tools of all. You can't get those on uh, line. You can't get those from Clay King. I don't think, anyway. Is anybody selling fingers? Huh? Mm, I don't think so. You don't think so? All right. Okay. All right. Hey, you know what? That's looking pretty gosh darn good. Let's stop it and take a look. See what little cleanup I have to do. A little cleanup here, a little cleanup there. Um, hmm. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. <sighs> Again, perfection. There was that little, see that little thing right there? Forget about it. It's gone. Okay. <laughs> right there, there was a little thing. I don't like little things. Really. I don't like little things. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give a little look at that, huh? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's that's a double. Ooh, that's good. All right. <laughs> well, you know, somebody's gonna pick this part up and look at the bottom and say, what the hell? That's pretty cool too, you know. All right, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna come back with this mud uh, mud tool and just clean that surface. Make sure that there's no little boogers uh, hanging on there, you know? Oh, nice. Starting to look nice. Starting to look nice. A couple of boogers here, but no big deal. All right, so let's do this. You're going to stay right there, my dear. Right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hoist this baby out of there. All right, I'm going to lift it out. We'll take a look at it. We might have to put it back in again, uh, right side up, uh, depending on what we've got here. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. All right. Ooh, booger. All right, I got rid of that booger. Uh, here we go. Check it out. Check it out. All right. Check it out. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. There's your foot. Okay. There's your foot. Finish. Finish, okay? You gotta have finish. I think that's it, Suzanne. I, I think uh, I think we've uh, done it all, okay? Okay. I know, I'm so weird. I can't stand myself sometimes. But, you know, a piece like this, you want to, you know, you kind of love this piece, all right? All right, what I'm going to do uh, with this piece, once it dries, all right, it's going to dry. I'm going to bisque fire it, right? That goes 1,881 degrees. When it comes out of the kill, I'm going to glaze it. Guess what I'm going to do? Glaze it in clear. All right, very simple. Put a clear glaze over this. Oh boy, let me tell you, these colors pop. Uh, maybe we'll come back and uh, after it's all uh, said and done and show you the finished product. How would you like that, gang? Ooh. <laughs> See you later. Hi, gang. Uh, like we told you, we're going to follow up with that piece, uh, two color piece that I threw. Uh, trimmed for you right now. I put it in the bisque kill. I'm going to about to do a bisque fire and then uh, once it's bisque fired, I'm going to glaze it for you. I'm going to show you the glazing and then uh, we'll fire it and we'll show you the finished product. Uh, Suzanne's going to take a close up now of the piece. Uh, this is the one that I, uh, I did throw and trim for you. Okay. And these are other obvious pieces that uh, I've... Uh... Oh, and look, there's Bob! <laughs> Holy mackerel! Hi, Bob! How, how the hell did Bob get in there? How did Bob get in there? Son of a bee, I can't believe... He's all over the goddamn place. <laughs> all right. We'll see you later. We're back. That's right, Suzanne and I are back. And we're here to show you what came out of the kill, out of the bis kill. Here it is right here. These pieces have been fired to a temperature of 1,888 degrees. And these are some of the pieces that I've done. Uh, this is the one that I threw for you and that we're going to follow through. Um, we uh, trimmed it. You saw that uh, part of the video, and there's a foot on it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the uh, Studio One, and we're going to glaze it in clear. And, boy, we're going to watch those colors pop. 
Um, as you uh, look around here, you're going to see uh, some friends. Uh, oh, look who we got there. Little uh, hippity hoppity uh, ducky walky. And uh, we got Bunny Wunny over here. And it's uh, close to Easter time. So uh, anyways, we thought we'd incorporate them. And uh, just wanted to show you... Uh, Oh my God! Look who has come to visit with us again today. Hi, Bob. And it's Bob. Yeah. How you doing, Bob? You doing? You doing okay? Yeah. Oh, you're a little sad. What's 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 the matter? Oh, Aww, you dropped he lost your. His you lost his M and M's. Oh, poor Bob. All right. Well, we'll let you go. Happy Easter, Bob. Anyways, uh, just again keeping up with the humor uh, for the times. And uh, signing out, we're going to, as a matter of fact, I'm going to grab this piece and I'm going to head right over uh, to Studio One and we're going to start glazing. Well, guess where we are? Well, yep, we're in Studio One and I've got the vase uh, that we've been following. What I'm going to do right now, me and Bob actually, are going to wax the bottom. All right. So we're going to do this kind of quickly. We're going to take that brush with the wax because... It's got a bottleneck vase, a, a neck to it. We're not going to suspend it uh, in anything. Very carefully right around that edge. There we go. That should do it. Uh, the wax dries uh, relatively quick. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry for about two or three minutes. Bob, you all set, buddy? Okay. Well, I guess it's Easter, huh? Well, it's almost Easter anyways, and uh, we're in good spirits over here. Suzanne and I are here, and a uh, little uh, bunny, uh, and uh, we're about to glaze that piece for you. There it is. And I'm stay, trying to stay with the humor here. I don't know how funny this really is with that little thing there. But anyways, there's the piece. Uh, here's the glaze uh, right here. This is our clear glaze. Suzanne almost fell over. Uh, but uh, I'm okay. Anyways, what I'm doing here is I'm mixing that uh, glaze clear. All right, it's uh, clear. It's clear. Good. You got that. It's unbelievable. Anyways, we're about done. I had pre-mixed that for you just uh, to try and speed it up, you know, because the director says I work too slow. So, anyways, uh, here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is. Uh, Bob forgot to, uh, well, actually, he reminded me to tell you guys why we wax the bottom. We wax the bottom uh, to resist the glaze, all right? That's uh, what we do. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of glaze here in this container here. And, yeah, we're going we're gonna to pour a little glaze in there also. And everybody's saying, oh, what the hell is he doing that for? Why? Why? Well, because... We just want to make sure that the piece is uh, watertight, and you want to see how I'm revolving it around. And all of a sudden, here we go. All right, now we've emptied it. All right, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the piece, and I'm going to dip it as far as I can go, and bring it back out, and bring it back over. Woo! Anyways, here we go here. So you see how quickly that uh, glaze dries, huh? Now I'm going to let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to dip it from the bottom uh, up uh, to the, the line here, the three-quarter line. And normally I wouldn't be doing this, but with the clear glaze, uh, it really doesn't matter because it's clear. There's not a big overlap. If you were to take, say, uh, any other glaze, uh, specifically a green or a brown or whatever, and you did that overlap, well, you're going to get a different color here uh, because you're going to get two dips in that, that range there, or two, two layers, thicknesses of glaze. So sometimes that's cool, and sometimes that sucks, you know. But anyways, all right, we're about ready because it is woo, dry. So here we go again, Susanna, you ready? Yep, here we ready. go. And... I believe, holy crap, we hit that line pretty good, I think, huh? What do you think? Yeah. Now come out over here. What I'm going to do is this. Look, I'm just going to take that, and I'm going to revolve that right on that sponge. All right. There you go. And it's, uh, it looks pretty clear, clean already, and uh, I'm going to clean that up uh, 100%. And uh, pretty much, folks, uh, that's... Uh, 
that's our glazing for today. I mean, it's a, this was a simple one. Every time I do one of these uh, uh, two-part uh, clays, it's uh, pretty easy uh, to glaze. You know, you don't stay awake at night thinking, oh, God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What colors are going to combine, can you combine this with that and that with this? And, oh, I don't know if it's going to come out. You know, I've had uh, you folks, and you know who you're talking and who I'm talking about, call me up in the middle of the night and go, Jack, don't fire that piece. Oh, my God, I got to take, I got to do it over again, or I got to wash it off, or I got to add this to it or that, you know? Uh, anyways, glazing is the last frontier, all right? I'm a, an old-time Star Trek fan, and trust me when I tell you, uh, it's the last frontier. You, you put the glaze on there, makes it or breaks it. In this case here, it's a little bit different because we got the clear running there. So one one last look. Look who's still with us today. Yep, Bobby Boy is on the Frosted Moss, and he's signing out. Uh, we will show you. The next thing we will show you is the finished piece, and uh, can't wait to show it to you. Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, Susanna and I are back. We're going to finish up the uh, this video here. This is the one where I threw that vase, uh, the two-tone uh, clay, the white and the brown. And uh, anyways, I told you that uh, once it was going to be fired, it's going to pop. And what I meant by that is, here is that vase, actually, right here. And I want you to look at the different uh, colors. This is with a clear glaze on it. And... Uh, it's uh, just uh, really kind of cool, you know, kind of cool how the uh, striations of the brown clay in there uh, show up so nice. Uh, show the, the, the neck in the inside there, too. Oh, that, uh, look at that spiral in there. Is that pretty cool or what? Yeah. You know who else is also very interested in, in this kind of stuff is Bob. Look, Bob. Bob's in there. See? He really likes this kind of stuff right here. I'll tell you what. Check that out, huh? Is that neck pretty cool? Look at it, Bob, all the way around. Yeah. Anyways, Bob's uh, he's uh, here too. And anyways, we just want to kind of uh, wrap this up and uh, call it a day uh, on this particular video. I know we're going crazy. Hey, Bob's head is on backwards. Did you notice? Oh yeah, it well, is. Well, where, yeah. Well, that's because he was in my pocket. All right, here we go. There you go. All right. Anyways, all kidding aside, uh, we're uh, we're done with this one. We're going to do another video. And uh, I don't know. God only knows what the hell we're going to be doing in this one here. Uh, but anyways, how do I look? I forgot to ask you. Uh, you look great. I look. I do? Yeah. Every time I ask you that, you say that. I think you're just saying it. <laughs> just, just, just because. No, you really you know, look great. Oh, yeah, right. Sure. Anyways, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, signing off again. Last word is... We wish you were here, okay? We wish you were here, huh, Bob? Right, yes, Bob says so too. I, I know it's a little weird, but there's nothing else to do, you know? I'm going crazy over here, so Jesus, you know, I'm trying to trying to fill the time here, get back to business, get you guys in here so I can drive you nuts, you know what I mean? Okay, anyways, love you, miss you. See you later.